Hello and welcome to another video of Mr. Markup Studio 001 and today I'm going to show you how to make a game in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now I know you might say, what? How can I make a game in PowerPoint? You may think that you can only make a game in PowerPoint about my holiday for example or something like that. But there's more better things to do than that in PowerPoint. And I'm going to show you how to make a game with animations, mouse overs, and hyperlinks. First of all, you want to delete this because you don't need it. And, that. and then you want to go to design because when you press F5, you see these black borders. And it's not that nice to see when playing a game. So when you go to design, page setup, and then when you choose 6 to 9 or 16 to 10, 16, yeah, then when you press OK, press F5, it will be full screen. OK, so here we're going to make some sort of um, loading screen. So you want to insert a shape with some sort of background color, something like for example, blue, dark blue, and then in white writing in a font like, um, let's see which fonts. There's lots of fonts for me to choose. I'll just do. I have no idea how that font, I'll just use it. So you can say something like loading and then on the transition tab you want to undisable mouse click because if you press F5 and mouse click it's going to click in the show. So when you unclick mouse on mouse click and then press something like after two seconds, then it will automatically go. And then you can duplicate the slide. And now we're going to make the loading bar. So something like you can do like control, and then while you move, it'll just automatically fill, or you can just do that if you want. Put this in the um, align this to the center, do whatever shadow. Okay, so it has to be um, white, and then you would want to copy and paste it exactly where it is, but put no shadow and put color a, a different color like light blue. And then go to animations and then use the wipe effect and choose from left so then it looks like it's actually loading. Go to animation pane and right click and um, choose star after previous. Then you want to go to um, timing and you want to do something like maybe 3 seconds. Yes, and go to transitions and basically do, yeah, just leave it to 2 and press F5, loading, yes, something like, it's like how real games are. And you want to duplicate the slide, and then, now, oopsie, now we're ready to make the menu. So you right click, format shape text box then top close and now the game is something like you control your mouse in these tunnels like this this mouse so they'll be like given tunnels and all that there'll be spikes and all that and you have to try not make sure the mouse goes onto the spikes so something like here I'll show you quickly like that and then there were like these spikes 
so something like that and you have to like move your mouse and make sure you don't touch them and if you touch them you will die yeah and I'll just call it mouse game so here welcome to the mouse game and then you change the size click on a button below to start now we're now going to make three buttons saying play instructions and exit so here is play button click shift to make it into square align it to the middle make a shadow do whatever you want you see th this is what's good about making games with powerpoint just make the look white and so play make sure it's in the same font as others can you make it bold and then you'll do another one same instructions okay make it smaller and then another one same exit okay so now um, now for transitions make go back to zero and after because you don't want to make it go exit automatically and when you press f5 it will look like this and you say welcome to the mouse game click on the button below to start and, and yeah okay so now you want to make actions happening in these buttons this is where hyperlinks come Hyperlinks is basically like a link to a slide um, where you just sort of like make if I click on this button it will take me to something else and all that. So let's make a slide for the instructions tab with the button first. So you want to duplicate this slide but then right instructions And then here you would want to first you want to delete these and then you want here to to play the game you need to control or move your mouse. Int cells pass, there will be dangerous objects that your mouse or cursor should not encounter or touch. Um, you can yeah. um good luck and then you can make a button saying okay I've got it so copy that paste make it a little smaller and saying okay I got it And then this is where the hyperlink starts. So for the instructions button, you click on it, right click on it, and then you'll see a um, option saying hyperlink. Click on that, and then click on place in this document, and then go to slide four. So basically, you say that when I click this button, it will take me to slide four. 
you choose click ok this and when you click ok I've got it you right click hyperlink to slide through which is this so it takes me back to that if you want you can make some fading effects fading effects um, maybe like push effect and that look nice so press F5 loading and you can see it's like as if it's loading and then welcome to the last game click on the button and then you click instructions and then you'll show you the instructions click ok i got it and then you'll take it there instructions press escape you can maybe do some push thingy for, from top don't overdo it because if you overdo it the audience will just like get confused and a little dizzy and a little bored at, so yeah mm, yeah so now the instructions tab has been done the bottom now for the exit button duplicate this and then here you write in R B no you can say it's like exit game and then here you would say something like R B so you want to exit the game if you do we'll miss you something a little hilarious there and then here you would say yes but also the user has um, or the person who's going to play this will have an option of also saying no and then we want to group this by right clicking or highlighting them all right clicking group group to make them actually like as if it's one object but they're separate align it to the center and middle and then you would want to ungroup them and here you'd want to remove and remove and first make a hyperlink taking that to the third slide which this will take it to the fifth slide and then here you can't just exit the show from here so we want to go to insert action on mouse click click hyperlink to and then click end show and click ok and then Press, press shift and F5 from here and then when you click on instructions ok I've got to exit are you showing the exit game if you do we will miss it no or exit yes ok so right now this is the end of part 1 of the series of how to make your own game in powerpoint next video I'll show you how to make the actual game and how to add more stuff and all that but right now see you later